morning. Only the shadow knows. <laughs> uh, it's April the 10th, starting of day seven. Uh, small showers have come in, nothing really significant. A uh, few drops at two, and then from four to six, it's about six, eight, about six a.m. right now. Um, hear a little wind in the background. Um, I think a lot of people are, it's not hardly daylight yet, but it's getting there. But I'm trying to get everything done inside here, get all my dry stuff in a dry bag, and uh, then uh, catch a, a moment when it's not pouring down and jump out and break down the outside stuff. Not sure where the weather and the trail's gonna let us go today, but uh, uh, we'll update as we get uh, uh, going. One thing I failed to mention on yesterday is when we got into Deep Gap, there was some trail magic. And um, they had hot dogs, hamburgers, made some chili last night, and I think they're gonna make pancakes this morning. So uh, I'm hoping the weather's gonna hold off enough for us to get in there and chow down and uh, then get a good look at where we, what our conditions and what we've got to do today. So. We'll update you as we know more. Okay, we've made it out of camp. We're actually one break into it with the weather up on top. We left this morning. Was it 7.20, Abuelo? Yeah, we rolled out of Deep Gap at 7.20 this morning and it was pretty foggy. And chance of rain. Yep. And as we climbed Standing Indian Mountain, we got along the ridge. Wasn't that it was a long climb, but it wasn't that bad. As we got up on top and was running the ridge, we got a good cross blowing rain. Go up your drawers. But uh wasn't bad. Uh now we're on a stretch. We're at mile we're at mile uh 90 right now, right? Yeah, uh, we're I've got five in, yeah. Yeah, so we've got 90, and we're on a pretty good stretch. And the weather, we're down below the clouds a little bit, so that it's uh, it's pretty good walking right now. Uh, we're hoping the rain holds off. There's well, cell service has been in any and outy sometimey, and uh, the last we've seen is 50% chance of rain. <sighs> Uh, hang on a second. Let me check this Appalachian Trail weather rock. Yeah, it's wet. It's raining. All right. So that's 100% accurate. So anyway, uh, we're just, uh, the plan for the day is see what the weather and the trail can give us. And uh, we had to pack up. We had a little bit of showers uh, this morning before we got up. Just enough to wet the tent good. So we packed those up wet, stayed dry inside. Uh, all our stuff's dry. So the, the goal now is just to see what we can get out of it. And my, my guide up front, my point man, he's going to find us a good place to hunker down for the night because I think the rain is supposed to continue till morning. And then we're supposed to break into some good weather again, I think. So you're gonna you're gonna find us a good spot there, Abuelo. I am looking right now. It looks like hopefully at 103. 103 is our is our. Yeah, that would be good. That would be excellent today. Really would. And you really can't sit around and take a break. I think we took a five minute break back there to eat something. Cause you just don't need to lose your body heat. So anyway, we're just, uh, it's not that bad. It's about 50 degrees with the wind swirling around and it can suck the, the body heat right out of you. And you can get in trouble out here real quick, even at 50 degrees. So that's it. I don't know how much we're gonna to get to film today, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, sharing, sharing the Appalachian Trail with you guys, uh, but 
this is all this is one of the part we've been very blessed to have those six days now we're on day seven we got a little bit of rain so hey we got to take what we get see you later okay the end of day seven was this april the 10th uh, saturday we put in 17.2 miles today in a pretty consistent rain. It started out a drizzle and then we stopped for lunch and within five minutes of us packing up, it was a deluge. It rained for about three hours. And uh, then we had to <clears throat> come up uh, Elbert Mountain, which was pretty windy and the rocks were slick pretty challenging um, but um, failed twice <laughs> not, on, not going up those rocks just uh, in the mud and um, stepping out of the, 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 the trails fill with water so you're stepping on the sides of it and the, on the banks of it and the banks are just sliding off with you uh, only hit on my hands once. The last time I came down on my elbow and jarred my shoulder pretty good, but it's 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 okay. I don't I don't think any any damage was done other than my pride. And, but uh, got to uh, I'm having to think. Oh, uh, the Long Branch Saloon or the Long Branch Shelter, and uh, was hoping that it was uh, had some room there and uh, got here wasn't any room so um, uh, abuelo uh, he ended up there's a guy didn't show up they'd saving a, a spot for somebody and the guy didn't show up and he ended up getting that so i set a <clears throat> tent up on a stealth site uh, finally got it all dry in here and uh, uh, weather i think it's 30 40 percent chance tonight of continuing rain but right now it's it's quit it's fairly nice i had some dinner and uh fixing hang my bear bag up and then i think i'm going to go to bed now tomorrow is supposed to be pretty but we put in 17.2 miles today and that's the longest we've done in seven days in the worst weather uh, it was really good trail, really good trail, except for a couple 5,000 foot peaks. So, uh, but uh, we came out of Deep Gap at 7:20, I think, is when we left, and we got here at about four o'clock. So it, it was pretty good move. We, we moved pretty good today. wasn't in an urgent, but it was just we didn't have places. I mean, there was no, uh, you know, you're walking and it's like. Okay, I'd like to sit down, but I, it's pouring down rain. <laughs> so just keep moving. Uh, so we'd catch breaks as we could, as the weather would light, let up and stuff like that. But uh, uh, there wasn't a lot of molly coddling or uh, anything like that, uh, lollygagging. So we uh, we, uh, we we just kept consistent. Uh, feel pretty good and. Uh, Feel like I'm getting stronger. I feel like I'm getting uh, in in better shape than I was. Uh, uh, so uh, looking forward. To, uh, uh, we did an inventory. I don't think we're going to go into Franklin. I think we're going to go on to the NOC from here. I think we got enough food to get there. So uh, that's the plan uh, as of right now. But you know how that is. So it could always uh, change. So anyway, I appreciate all my followers and all my uh, you know uh, subscribers and, and people that's making the comments I, I can't with the cell service that I've been getting I, I barely get uploads and I, I, I with my other YouTube channel I always answer my my comments and and I, I appreciate those but I, in this case I'm not able to even read them sometimes so I apologize if uh, if, if I don't get around to them but uh, your thoughts and, and prayers, and especially your prayers, I appreciate those. We uh, uh, we believe in prayer, and uh, so 
uh, that's it, about it for it for now from the old man. You guys just keep on trucking.